Congratulations on getting this far in the Archivist training. In this video, I will walk you through the veteran training curriculum so you can see what is all involved. First, if you want to access the veteran training, you can come to the Virtual Foot Locker Project website and click on Veteran Training and Introduction, which is, well, the introduction. You will see that this is very similar to the Archivist training as far as navigation is concerned. This training for the veterans has the following objectives. Upon completion of the veteran training, participants will be able to 1. Plan for the storage and preservation needs of their personal military records. 2. Prioritize and select items for long-term preservation. 3. Apply the basic strategies and practices for organization, storage, and preservation of personal military records. And 4. Locate additional related resources and potential cultural heritage institutions. Similar to the Archivist introduction, there is a welcome message from me and just a general welcome and then the veterans can get started. The first module introduces the preservation of personal military records. Again, similar to the Archivist training, there are recordings uh, for each part. And as people move through the various parts, part two looks at the storage challenges for analog and digital records. We then move to part three of the first module, which helps, identif uh, helps veterans identify their important records and key moments of your military career, or what we would call appraisal. This part does include a video of myself walking through various things that you might have or that veterans might have uh, stored away from their time in service, including that actually is the Foot Locker in the virtual Foot Locker project. That is my father's Foot Locker there. Just like the archivist training at the end of the first module, they can test their knowledge before moving on to the next. Module two introduces organization and storage of personal military records. The first part looks at passive versus active preservation techniques and storage. In part two, we discuss organizing personal military records, including why locks or lots of copies keep stuff safe is important for digital preservation. Module two, part three discusses naming conventions and this module also includes an activity for the veterans to uh, get used to trying to figure out what the best naming convention would be for their materials. We also introduce the bulk rename utility for Windows, which is a great program. Uh, it's a free program that can help you or veterans rename a lot of files all at once. It's very robust and we include a tutorial video on that. In part four of module two, we discuss storing analog materials. And here again, I have a video of myself going through many different storage options. We also here include links to various archival suppliers. And then we get into format specific including different videos along the way. We have a video here on building a custom storage box, videos about uh, storing photographs, as well as a multiple part video on conservation and preservation of textiles. So this could be uniforms, it could be their boots, things like that. Finally, in part five of module two, we then look at storing digital materials. And this includes multiple videos. Um, 
one on how to back up your computer, how to back up a Windows 10 files to external hard drives, how to edit PDFs, what PDF A is, and again at the end of this module the veterans can test their knowledge. Module 3 focuses on the preservation of analog and digital personal military records. Part 1 is basic preservation for analog starting with a general and then getting into format specific. Again we have a series of videos Here's one on paper conservation, photo conservation, how to repair VHS tapes, and how to clean or take care of textiles. In part two, we look at digitization. And again, I have a video here reviewing some of the equipment needed uh, or that can be used for digitizing records. And again, we look at format specific requirements before moving on to the next part. In part three, we focus on preservation techniques for digital records in general, and then again, format specific, including a lot of videos, how to back up Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram, as well as websites. We provide links on how to download content from each of the major social media sites, as well as discussing audio and video. The final part of Module 3 discusses conducting a preservation survey of personal records and why that is important. Yet again, at the end of this module, veterans can test their knowledge before moving on to the final module. The final module focuses on providing some additional resources as well as discussing the donation of personal military records to museums and archives if a veteran would like to go down that route. The first part highlights additional resources that might be of use to veterans Whereas the second part focuses more on the donation process, what it is like, what to expect. And this includes videos from our advisory board members discussing the donation process and what to expect. We then provide a list of starting points for looking for archives or museums that may be interested in their collections. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg, but this is where we leave the training for veterans. Again, at the end, there is a test your knowledge, and then they are sent to a feedback area. So this is the overview of the training for veterans. We do plan on holding some live training sessions, uh, both in person and Zoom based, which we will post under the events area as we develop um, these locations over the next year. So do keep in touch there. You can also sign up for our email list at the bottom of our homepage as well.